Hello, pack members, it's your girl Love Wolf here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Franbo. Now, in this episode, we will be exploring this weird doctor's office. Oh, that's creatures' bodies made of baby faces. The bath boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker? Do you know where you're... Do I know you from somewhere? You look like you took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Did you stab all your friends with it? What knitting needle? Are you are you the dead nurse I saw back at Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? You little beast. Take a number. Would you and wait your turn. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number. I won't repeat myself. Number seven. Okay. I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? I've been waiting for a week. How long has everybody been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. I have a number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Excuse me, everybody was there. Way to make things move faster. Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. By doing that, you'd also help us. But why don't you become a doctor? I can't because I feel very sick. <coughs> I can't. My R.I. is blind. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of a mirror. Well, I'm not sick. Please, let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. Do you feel pain? That's a hard question. Make it softer. How do I do that? Pulling your eyes off, it helps sometimes. It's impossible to talk with you. That's true, but it must be nice to have some common sense. What? Why? What does common sense have to do to uncommon sense? It doesn't. Well, it helps us understand each other better. We do understand each other very well, in our uncommon sense way. Yes, we actually do. Who sees all that? No. Same as seeing everything. Now we wait, we can talk. There's one creature. In the entirety of this game. That knows and sees. All. And that Nope. And that is this guy up here. I need to turn my headphones down. Hello friend. Hope you find your cat soon. I still see him inside that cage.
Did you know that we're actually very immature? Hey, leave. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. So, according to the walkthrough, it says to show my ticket to this guy. Exchange our tickets. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No. I need to know if I'm in pain. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure. If I'm still here when you come back. Okay, I'm pretty sure you will be because this doctor's office is not up to par. It's about as bad as the friggin' convenient care here in Dwajar. It's only convenient for the nurses and staff. Mm. Alright, you. Ocula! I need to talk to you. I didn't know you were a girl. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Patient trouble. Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers from? He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Mm, let me see. Uh, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a head headache caused by low levels of agony in him. Wow. It's possible to help him somehow. I just need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing and Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Ethersta and be happy. Aww. Poor Fran. Lovely pain. So profound. <laughs> I've collected pain in a bottle. Bottle of your tears, give it to the critter that has your ticket. Now go, time does not wait for anybody. Thank you, I'll be going now. Goodbye. Okay, well. Interesting. Bop, bop. Elevator music makes people sleepy. Here, drink this and you'll feel much better. I'll t oh, trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me your ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. And thank you for your tears. They tasted absolutely delicious. Uh, excuse me while I take my ratty butt away from here. <clears throat> I'm hoping that this will be the last episode of this. We're going to do all we can to save you. You have an appointment. 
Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty? Don't worry. It's a natural reaction to for your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many have lost their minds instead. <laughs> lucky. How do I get an appointment, then? Just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. But why must I call you? Why can't I just make an appointment now? Well, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright, I'll go make the call then. Yep, just like every other doctor's office I've been to. Do you have an appointment? No. Well, you have to make an appointment. Go outside to the car, call, make an appointment. Okay, I'll see you in, in like five seconds. <laughs> Alright, let's go call this number. Yes, you told me to call and make an appointment. Franbo, mm -hmm. available right now? Uh, no, yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, thanks, bye. Yeah, Fran, I feel the same way. Hello, patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yes, Franbo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check it. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. No, she forking, eh? Sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. Don't mind, actually. This is none of my business. Oh, fuck you. You have chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor the Terrible Black, Prince of Darkness, yada yada yada, you know the drill. I know who you are. And don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? And what did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. Ew. I can use you for whatever I want. Again, ew. You're under my power. No, I'm not. That's not true, not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. You trust your eyes too much. I haven't, haven't you learned that human receptors are weak. Your body is fragile and easy to corrupt. The fuck? No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. That is a... Who was it? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must have suffered and died before becoming a star. That is a traumatizing scene for a young child to witness. I'm just saying, no wonder Fran is so freaked in the head. my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. <coughs> kitty, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. 
Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me? This isn't funny. <sighs> this place... It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. We'll take you to the Thirsta. Planters could help us. I promise, nothing will tear us apart again. I'm out. Oh, kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dearn, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Are you alive? Oh, what should I do to wake up? Pull lever, press buttons. Should I stabby him with wake up juice? Maybe this will wake him up. Excuse me while I just stabby you. And what was that? I don't worry, it's me, Fran. I just stabbed you in the neck. I'm not crazy at all. I can't see very well. I'm Fran Bose, sir, from Oswald Asylum. We're in the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm not I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran, monsters. I don't feel like playing games. All right. It wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Oh, fucking Corinne. What is she doing here? I thought you chained her. <sighs> but I did. I told you. She was a hard one to tame. I'm gonna get rid of her. Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, what are you talking, talking like that? Who's this old man? Oh, sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother? My aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were a part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Did you know my mother and father were murdered? Of course, Remor did a great job. His power manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time. But why does he hunt me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would a monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But actually, I did you a favor. You're suffering. And the pain is connected to growth and strength. Oswald, please just let me do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard. Come on. Let's go. I don't trust you, Grace. Fran, listen. You must know Dr. Oswald wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew that you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine. Oh, dear, sweet, naive, innocent... Fool. Of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! Kitty! You killed him! He was my friend! And I loved him! Stop weeping, the cat is dead now. 
but he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Stop it, Fran. Please. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me, I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right, she was sick, but she's bleeding, let me take care of her. No, you won't, she's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years, looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me! Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Itward. One of the many, one, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectopro, 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 lunch or something. Itward, I found him. Stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you could use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. I have to go. Mother Mabuka, you took the innocent child. The innocence of a child, Fran, is now dead and alive. Wake up from darkness, Fran. You'll be able to walk towards the light. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. Missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dearn, look, this is Itward and Palantris. I told you about them, remember? But you told me they weren't real. Do you believe me now? can't hear you. I think he's under Mabuka's power now. We really must leave. But can you come with us, please? He has been real nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But we, what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you. I see. That's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. This is very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud. You really think so? Thank you. Now, let us send Dr. Deer home. Let's go, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. And that is, I still don't know many things, but the one thing I do know, that between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. And that is the end of Fran Bow. A very confusing and strange game indeed. But at least now she can live happily in another reality. 
Anyways, if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and be sure to give that notification bell a high five so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!